if you want to produce any goods or services you will need at least one of these four factors they are the factors of production and they are land labor capital and entrepreneurship it used to be only land labor and capital then later on entrepreneurship was added the fourth factor is also sometimes called as enterprise or entrepreneurial ability and land is also sometimes called as natural resources the thing here is if we just look at the names of these factors of productions it seems like a very easy concept i could just make a 1 minute video to explain all of these things but it will take a little longer than 1 minute stick around for a little while and you will understand the concept in details but before i continue a reminder to subscribe to the channel land land can be the agricultural land where farmers grow the food we need to survive land can be the place where a factory is built land can be the commercial real estate that will be used to create value for people but but the problem here is that there is another name for land and that is natural resources yes in the case of factors of production natural resources are going to fall under land water is a natural resource oil is a natural resource natural resources found in certain areas have a big hand in determining what is produced in a specific area in a place where there is an abundance of oil as a natural resource there will be different type of companies compared to a place where there is an abundance of water air is also a natural resource you can use air to generate electricity labor is the easiest of all the four to understand there are no tricky ways behind it it can be either physical or psychological there are farmers working hard in the fields there are construction workers working hard to build there are waiters serving people food there are writers and artists working hard to create all of these are some form of labors capital is not money capital is something you buy with money in order to produce whatever you want to produce these are not natural resources capitals are man made resources that is used to make something else it can be the machinery that is used to make something it can be the truck that is used to deliver goods it can be the plates and cups that are used to serve food to customers in a restaurant but it is not money we usually think capital is considered as money but in this context capital is not money because money alone is not useful for production you will not be able to produce anything just with money you have to spend that money on something and that something is going to be the capital the last point here is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship in this case is the factor that combines the other three factors and comes up with the goods and services itself nowadays most of the things that we see and use cannot be produced by using only one of the factors of productions there are people that are entrepreneurs that come up with their idea to combine the factors of production in one way or another and produce whatever goods and services we used today the examples are everywhere here these are the people that had a dream of making something and they did now time for a broad example suppose you are running a bakery the land in this case will be the piece of ground your shop is located in 
you might also use other natural resources to produce your products. Labor will be the hard work of the people that has to bake your products or serve your customers. The capital can be the oven, the cash register, and as I said before, the things you use to serve the customers. And since you are the owner that made all of this come together to make this happen, you will be the entrepreneur. One more thing you need to know is that the thing you end up producing can be either consumer goods or capital goods. I already talked about what capital is in this sense. So, the cash register is one kind of capital good that can be used to produce other things. But, you can be a company that produces the cash register itself. Alright, another example will be better. We all know about huge machines that are used to produce large boxes, cans, packages and bottles. That machine is going to be a capital in the case of the company producing pizza in those packages. But that machine was also the end product of another company. Someone had to combine all of the factors of production to produce that huge machine in the first place. That end product in that case would be a capital good. But the person that is using the machine to serve pizza to everyone is producing consumer goods. Alright, before ending this, land is not only the land, it is the natural resources that are used to produce something. Man made things that are used to produce something are called capital. Capital is not money. It is the things that you buy with money. Someone made it and you are buying from them to make your product. That is all I am going to talk about the factors of production. If you have any questions, you can ask below. I hope you are taking care of yourself. You can like this video if you want to. Share this video with people you think might find it helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you want to catch future uploads from this channel. I will be uploading videos every Mondays and Thursdays for this year. And if everything is alright, the next video on the channel will be uploaded on this Thursday and it will be about brand extensions. You can also directly support me on Patreon if you want to. Now. A small bonus section. The Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine in 1906 went to these two people. I'm not going to try to pronounce their name. What you need to know is that they have worked towards our understanding of the structure of the nervous system. Alright, this is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching if you are still watching. And lastly, I really hope you have learned something new today. Goodbye for now.